Hey guys, so here in this video, I'll be asking you a question. I would like to ask you, do you think aldehyde or ketone is more reactive? Which one is more reactive? So let's go back to the fundamentals in organic chemistry. To analyze reactivity, we go back to the two factors. First factor will be the electronic factor. Now the word suggests it's going to do with the amount of electrons, electron density around the region. The second factor, steric factor. Steric is a word that you find in chemistry talking about how crowded the place is. Just like in a shopping mall, there could be many people squeezing before a public holiday to go for shopping, so it's very civically hindered. Electron cloud could also repel quite a lot if there's massive amount of atoms next to each other. So we call it steric. If I draw an aldehyde, we know that it must have this functional group, C double one O, H, and this is R group, an alkyl chain. And for the ketone, we have R, C O double bond, and R. Of course, this two R doesn't have to be the same, but we know that they're just long, wavy alkyl chain. Now we notice that R groups are your alkyl groups, so they are electron releasing. Or we can say donating. Which means to say that this R group here will push electrons towards the CO double bonds carbon. In the ketone, you have got both sides of the R that push electron density towards this carbon. You see? You just push it in. I'm just using the arrow, okay? Now, you just push towards this carbon. And as we know, the reactivity of the LDH and the ketone comes from the CO double bond, the carbonyl group. And this carbon here is delta negative because of the polarization of the electron cloud coming from a very electronegative oxygen, delta negative, delta negative, delta positive. So we know that the nucleophile would like to attack the carbon here. Now, in this case, our group reduces the positive charge of the carbon because it's electron donating. But in the aldehyde, we only have one side that can lower the charge of this carbon compared to the ketone, where you have both sides helping it to reduce the electron deficiency over here. Which means that going via the electronic effect, the aldehyde is more reactive. Now the next factor, steric factor, means how crowded is it? So both contain our group, let's assume it to be the same. Now the other side, we always compare the difference. Hydrogen, a small atom, against an R group, an alkyl chain. You know the answer. H is so tiny, R is so big. A nucleophile has electron cloud around it. It would like to avoid big electron cloud, if possible, and attack the aldehyde, if it can, because it's only a hydrogen, a very tiny electron cloud. So going by the steric factor, aldehyde is more reactive. So overall, you learn that you know that uh, an aldehyde in general is more reactive than a ketone, which means that if we have a molecule with an aldehyde group, one, two, three, four, a butanol, and we put a ketone group over here, one, two, three. So this is three oxo butanol we would realize that if we have one molecule of this, just one, uh, one of this, and one nucleophile, okay, nucleophile, just one, this nucleophile would attack the aldehyde, not the ketone, because of these reasons that I've just talked about. 